10,000 years. That's approximately how long ago humankind began practicing agriculture in the Fertile Crescent. Since then, man's taken to shaping the world and nature around himself and holds himself in a higher regard to the natural world. We've taken too much and not replaced enough, and this is very true, especially of the rainforest ecosystems. Rainforests are ancient biomes that are centers of biodiversity and planetary respiration, and we must all begin working to right the wrongs we've done to these ecosystems, or else find ourselves just as endangered as the many species that live here. We owe it to the rest of the community of life to clean up the rainforest and stop our destruction of it. The problems that are going on in the rainforest right now. Well, think about where you were yesterday. In that time, 24 hours, an average of 35 species will vanish off the face of the earth forever. Think about if we lost a key species such as chickens or dairy cows. This would be disastrous for our uh, society. And for that matter, imagine if the human species itself disappeared. Now, just those three, three species that I mentioned are you know, potentially the worst disasters that our Earth has ever seen, and yet we destroy 35 species that are just as vital to their own food chains and ecosystems every single day. Now, the reason why uh, we see such large species death is that even though the rainforests only take up 2% of the land area of the world, almost two-thirds of the living species are in these areas. And biodiversity is important because it stabilizes ecosystems, makes everything a little more renewable and more balanced, and it also brings resilience to life on our planet in general. Now, some of the things that are destroying the rainforest is logging for furniture, firewood, building materials. Um, whenever we have logging, there's also these issues of clear cutting for the additional use of cattle herding and cash crop farming. Um, but whatever the way, there's lots of land area of good forest that's being destroyed. And even so-called practices of selective logging is dangerous because uh, groups will move in and have one single mature tree that they will select to, to collect. However, bringing in the heavy machinery destroys lots of um, trees and uh, organisms on its way in. The soil that these heavy machines drive over is um, compressed and much more prone to erosion and also um, there's a high difficulty of plants to regenerate in these areas. Uh, once this tree is felled, it has to be dragged out of the forest and that brings a lot of extra destruction um, to things anyway. So even selective logging practices are not safe. Uh, there's also a huge amount of fishing. Just in the Amazon River alone, there are more species of fish than in the entire Atlantic Ocean. And what the main fishing practice is, is the use of gill nets, which are these huge nets um, that they drag across the entire width of a river. And it collects all sorts of animals, not just the targeted uh, things. So usually we'll have fishermen who are keeping the largest, most uh, pricey fish and throwing back the small ones that they can't really make a profit off of. And they're also snaring a lot of uh, more exotic animals and things, because there are like creatures like dolphins that use these river systems. And so there's lots of those animals. These gill nets kill all of them. Um, there's also a lot of pollution from mining in the water systems. And indigenous people and you know the animals, the fish and things in the water, are all getting poisoned from these activities. And probably the most critical problem with the rainforest is that these are huge areas of planetary respiration. One hectare, which is uh, an area about 2.5 acres, absorbs a metric ton of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere every year and converts it into breathable oxygen. Um, and conversely, the destruction of the rainforest, the act of cutting these down, uh, the burning of uh, rainforest for energy needs, because there is a lot of that that goes on, um, this accounts for 20 to 25% of mankind's annual carbon dioxide contribution. So we're essentially um, causing a, a lot of pollution in the process of destroying these uh, areas which filter that sort of carbon dioxide. Um, so what can we do about this sort of destruction? Now, not everybody obviously can physically go to the rainforest and plant a tree. But the uh, ways to help out are actually fairly easy. What you can do first off is just go green. Other eco-friendly activities will end up saving rainforest materials and products. Using less electricity, less heat, uh, recycling, especially doing recycling beyond what your trash collecting companies do, um, having a compost pile at home to recycle organic materials, and buying fewer environmentally hazardous products such as plastic water bottles. All these activities which are you know, fairly uh, easy and becoming more, um, more widespread you know, in our in economy right now, these can all help. Uh, but there's other things you can do as well. There's membership organizations such as the NRDC, which is the National Resource Defense Council. Um, you can join these organizations for like a small membership donation. Um, they give you, you know, all sorts of information about conservation activities that are going on. 
and um, the money that's collected from these organizations can be used at all different levels. They have scientists, lawyers, um, all different ways to protect the environment. They have campaigns like the Revive the Rainforest campaign. Where these funds are being put directly into um, projects that are helping you know, restore a forest area. Um, there's also certain organizations which let you adopt an acre. The Nature Conservancy, for example, is a fairly well established one that's been running since 1991. Um, what you can do is you make a $50 donation or a $25 donation for half an acre, and you adopt this area of land. And basically that money goes directly to expanding um, reserves and uh, you know, like protecting these areas. And to date there have been over $22 million raised by just this organization alone, and that's currently protecting um, over 600,000 acres of forest in different environments around the world. Um, now, the other way that you can help out is just by making sure that the products you use in your everyday life are certified by certain organizations. Um, the Rainforest Alliance puts like a mark of approval on certain uh, products that are you know, coming from places in the rainforest where uh, practices of better conservation are, are being done. You know, they're instructing the locals on how to restore what they're taking from the environment. And these products are more environmentally friendly. Another good one here, um, and these lists are, you can get these if you want at the end of class. Um, the Forest Stewardship Council has this huge long list of places that are verified as um, taking environmentally friendly actions and you know, getting their supplies from places where uh, reforestation efforts are taking place. You know, and there's some big names in here. There's Lowe's, there's Walmart. Um, it's not difficult to be a more uh, eco-friendly consumer. So basically some people say that the, uh, you know, the extinctions that are going on are natural occurrences, but really man is contributing way too much to the death that's going on wholesale. And if um, you feel like it's not worth the change in your life to uh, make this issue uh, resolved, then you're essentially killing those 35 species a day so you can have that piece of mahogany furniture or you know the extra five degrees in the winter. So basically, our species, Homo sapiens, has regarded nature as its inferior for far too long, and we've done a lot of damage to the environment. Um, an enormous portion of the variety of species on the Earth is being eliminated, and we're in essence cutting out the lungs of our planet, destroying these respirating systems. Uh, there's so many organizations and funds and ways to donate, and the lifestyle changes are incredibly easy to make, and you might already be you know, buying these sort of eco-friendly products without realizing it. So don't put it off. You can get online today, these websites, and do something to help save the Earth.